I'm Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. We're at 6805 Alpert Drive, Orlando, Florida, 32810. That's A-L-P-E-R-T here in Citrus Cove. The purpose of this video is to give you what you can't see. If you look at the very best pictures online, you go to Realtor.com, Redfin, Trulia, Homes.com, Zillow. How do I know? Because if you've seen those pictures, I'm the one who took and posted them. So people call me and say, what's it really look like? Well, let me give you a feel for what it really looks like. In the neighborhood, we'll walk up and down, look at the street, go in and look at the property as well. This neighborhood was built in the 80s. About 1980 or so. A lot of one car garages. Our subject property is three bedrooms, one and one half baths. That's probably usual for this. The location here is great. We're near Maitland Center, which has got enough office buildings for entire other states here within a mile or two of this. Only a half mile from Lockhart Elementary. So close, it's actually right behind this house. So you've got no rear neighbors. And no HOA, which everybody wants. I've been listing selling homes for 34 years, full time, every day. Hardly ever do I get someone that says, can you find me a house with an HOA? So this would be a great, affordable home for you to live in. Also make a fantastic rental. I mean, fantastic. Got some nice curb appeal. There's Italian cypress by the driveway there. I'm going to look down here just for a minute as well. Taxes on this property are $26.27 a year. That's without homestead. If you buy it, and get homestead, your taxes, of course, will be lower. So no HOA is ideal for most anybody who wants to live here. The location is great. We're real near I-4 and the Maitland Interchange. From there, get to downtown in less than 20 minutes. See, it's a nice middle-class neighborhood. Houses are all pretty well maintained. But we need to go back and look at this one in Albert. Okay, so while this house was built in 1980, in the public records, it's got an effective year built of 1999, which means there was major upgrades done at that time. Those queen palms, there's three of them, are a really nice upgrade to the house. And we go inside, say welcome home. Nice curb appeal and nice inside. Flooring matches all the way through. That flooring is new. Kitchen's been updated. Three bedrooms, one and a half bath, one car garage, 1,415 square feet. Got this nice enclosed Florida room. Beautiful skylight. It gives it not lots of nice light. Look at that. So this is a major addition to the house here. AC is only three or four years old. Roof. About nine years old, just had it checked out. River says it looks good. Electrical's been updated with a new panel. And now we've got three bedrooms. The fact that the flooring matches gives it a really nice feel for sure. You can see lots of big windows.
And this is the master. Set the mirrored closet doors. Go around in the back in a second. And this is a half bath. That means throne, sink, room, everything but a shower. All right, you've got a feel for the floor plan. We'll go out to the garage. No matter what you do to a garage, you never get it that cute. Definitely room to put your car. There's your upgraded electrical panel, washer and dryer hookup out here as well. This does include the refrigerator. And we should go look at the back. Okay, here we are in the back. We want the big backyard for the kids to play in. This one is big. No rear neighbors, which is an insane advantage for peace and quiet and privacy. That's Lockhart, Lockhart Elementary or Lockhart uh, Middle School Correction. The after school activities. Got some Wakaiba High School nearby not too far and Riverside Elementary is only two and a half miles away and that gets some pretty good marks if you look it up for an elementary in a big backyard so big can't even fit it all in my screen look at that that is some serious land nice curb appeal easy care grass all the things that you'd want if you're even thinking about buying a home here in the Orlando Maitland area, if you're looking for a rental or an affordable home for you to live in, I want you to call me, Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. I've sold thousands of homes. Chances are I can help you get a good deal on something that's exactly what you're looking for.